Hey, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and in this video we will discuss how to build stretch and strength in your fingers. And I get a lot of requests from many of you here on YouTube from people that ask how can I build more stretch in my fingers, how can I develop the strength of my fingers. And we will not only discuss this, I will give you very practical exercises that will develop those two things for your fingers. There are a couple of things you can do that aren't really uh, have don't have anything to do with the guitar but it's more just ordinary stuff like working in the garden is good for your finger strength but of course it hasn't anything to do with playing guitar but if you have a garden and you want to you know do gardening stuff it works to build up the muscles in your fingers uh, as well as wall climbing, but you know, I'm sure you won't follow this advice So let's look at practical exercises we can do on the guitar to build the strength and stretch So first exercise is playing legato Exercises so legato just means flute fluent and it is a collection of all technical exercises that make sure guitar playing sound fluent so here we will look uh, exactly at one of the best exercises from this legato playing technique exercise that will build the strength, it's the hammer on and we can also talk about the exact opposite, pull off of the hammer on but the hammer on especially will build the strength in your finger because we need more strength just to get the sound out of the string when performing hammer ons so I will first show you what the exercise will be and then we will talk further about it. So here I'm playing with the index finger at the 3rd fret. Then the uh, middle finger takes the 5th fret and my pinky finger plays on the 7th fret. This alone is a good exercise to build stretch in your fingers and when you try this and you find it difficult um, this is normal, I will explain how to make it easier, but it is a difficult stretch in the beginning. But first let's talk about building strength in your fingers. And if you have the index on the 3rd fret, we don't want to play normally with the pick and then go to the 5th fret and then hit the string with the pick again. And then also on the 7th fret hit with the pick again because this is just normal playing, it doesn't require that much strength in your fingers. But if you play legato, if you uh, apply hammer-on, you need extra strength in your fingers just to make this exercise sound okay. And this is why it's a good idea to go through such exercises to build this strength in the fingers and the left hand. So here I'm applying this idea on all strings, so the exercise basically runs through all six strings and with the pick I'm just simply going from the sixth string to the high E string. Here with the left hand I'm hammering on with the middle finger on the fifth fret and with the pinky on the seventh fret on each string. And especially because I'm practicing this on an acoustic guitar which requires more strength I'm sure it will develop more strength in my fingers that I can use to my advantage when I go back to the electric guitar. So this is another type of advice for you to build more strength. If you play, if you practice on an acoustic guitar, it becomes easier to play electric again. Or you can also use a, a different set of strings that are thicker and if you normally play with tens on your electric guitar, you can, for instance, also for a while practice on 11th. And then when you go back to the lower gauge strings, then it becomes easier if you go back to the tens, for instance. If you don't have an acoustic guitar, this is a good um, solution. But if you have an acoustic, I would say practice a lot on the acoustic. And especially when you apply the legato, the hammer on <laughs> It will, um, it will make sure you develop the strength and also the stretch in your fingers because it requires here a lot of stretch. But let's talk about the stretch 
for a minute because this exercise, when you first are going through it and you first try it, it isn't really that approachable, it isn't that easy at first, especially if you practice it here down at third fret. Uh, one way we can uh, use to make this exercise easier is to just shift your hand up to the higher frets because there is uh, less um, distance between the frets, it becomes easier to do the same exercise. So I'm playing hammer-ons also back from the first string to the sixth string is the same ID than when I'm going from the low E to the high E. I'm hammering on with the middle finger and the pinky. And you could say that there is one finger that doesn't get its workout with this exercise and you're exactly right. There's one finger here that doesn't build the strength by going through this exercise and this is the index finger. And of course it is our most uh, powerful finger. It's the finger with the most strength uh, inhibited in, uh, in the finger naturally, but we need to also strengthen this finger so if we go through the same exercise but also hammer on with in the index finger then the exercise becomes a bit more difficult but even better to develop the strength in your fingers so we can play this exercise without the right hand without touching without hitting the strings with the pick and it would become much more efficient Of course, this is a non-musical exercise. We would never use this in music without proper muting technique because as you can hear, there's a lot of unwanted string noise when doing this exercise. But this is a good exercise just to build the fingers up to the level you need. So as you can see, I'm just hammering on to the, uh, to the position that I need to play at without hitting the strings with the pick. You could, you could run through scales if you want to. And practice scale exercises, scale sequences in this way to build up this strength in your, uh, in your left hand or in your uh, fretting hand, that is if you're playing uh, the other way. It is the fretting hand we're talking about, and this is a good exercise. Uh, we were talking the other minute about the other part of the equation, building the stretch in your fingers. One idea was if you're, having, if you're experiencing troubles with the stretch uh, that is needed for this exercise, we can shift it to here. But also another idea is to just make sure you're using the thumb in the correct position here. Just, and we're starting out with the thumb just under the middle finger, underneath the middle finger. And then we can just shift the index finger to its proper position, while the thumb remains here underneath the middle finger. And then the same thing can apply with the pinky finger at the other side of this middle finger. But just keep the thumb at the bottom of the guitar, just underneath the middle finger. And if you're just going through this exercise, this might uh, work for you to try it this way. But also, if needed, shift the whole exercise higher on the guitar neck. And building strength in the fingers isn't really that comes in, in a couple of days practicing, you will experience. Uh, of course, more strength when going through this in uh, coming days. Um, but if you practice it daily, you will see that it is something that develops and you can use the strength for a lot of good things. Uh, it has a lot of benefits to your guitar playing. And one more thing that we can talk about is playing the same exercises but then in a more musical way, because this is really technical stuff. 
but I'll leave this for another video because first it is really good to build up the strength and the fingers when we want to make it more musical you will need to use you will have the strength in your fingers and the stretch also so these exercises are really good i hope you appreciate them if you do so leave a comment here on youtube or give a like to the video also take a look at the website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com where i've written a guide that you can download for free that deals also with the technical fundamentals of your guitar playing but the other side of the equation where we talk about the picking hand and I have all uh, good exercises and tablature that you can download in order for you to develop your guitar playing even further. So take a look at the website and I'll see you in the next video then.